what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this topic and i want to talk about this situation that's going down with music mogul la reed who happens to be getting sued by a former arista executive who worked alongside him by the name of drew dixon now drew happens to be suing la for sa and i heard about this a couple of years ago but it didn't really gain any traction so i guess she came to the conclusion that she needed to move forth and actually file a lawsuit against this dude for what he allegedly done to her now the only reason why i'm using the word alleged is because LA does have the right to due process but I will say that when I was living in Atlanta back in the day he was definitely known as a kitty snatcher that's what they used to call him. now for the record LA Reed isn't the only individual that Drew is claiming that basically awed her she talked about in detail a wicked night or a wicked encounter rather that she had with Russell Simmons I want you guys to take a look at this clip and I'll be right back yes like you know but I, and I'm not thinking I'm in danger. I'm just thinking, you know, there's a car, probably it's here by now. And then, you know, he's, the next thing you know, he's like here, you know, and he's naked and he's physically grabbing me. And, you know, I mean, it was a fight. It was a fight. It was a straight up and down fight. Okay. Like a physical brawl where he was ripping off my clothes and I am fighting him and he's grabbing my wrists and I'm kicking I mean, straight up, I'd actually just had a medical procedure with my OBGYN. I'm going to just be real honest. I had like a pad with like discharge where I wasn't even supposed to wear like a tan or anything, nothing. I was like begging him. I'm like, you mm. can harm me. You can literally harm me. Look, you can see it, right? Please. And then it was just stop fighting, like cold, like stop fighting. I mean, it was, it was, y'all, it was straight up and down. All right, so you guys just heard what she had to say about Russell and what transpired that night. And that's why Russell is in Bali now because he can't be extradited back to the US because of the laws in place. And what's so sad about the situation is that Drew just happens to be one of the many victims that Russell has violated. Now, before we go any further, I wanna take the time to give Drew her flowers because she has done so much for the music industry. She has helped produce hits with Aretha Franklin, Carlos Santana, Whitney Houston, Lauren Hill, Monica, Deborah Cox, Method Man, Biggie, Q-Tip, Brand Nubian, CeeLo Green, Mary J. Blige, John Legend, Kanye West, and so many more. And also, let's not forget that she's extremely educated with degrees from some high-end institutions like Stanford University and Harvard Business School. So let's not make no mistake about it. She was very instrumental and emphatically innovative when it came to the music business. So just giving her props right here. Now with that said, let's go ahead and jump into these allegations that she has against L.A. Reid. And so it says here, Music executive L.A. Reid is being sued for two instances of S.A. from 2001 while he was CEO of Arista Records. Music mogul L.A. Reid is being sued for S.A. According to court documents filed in New York on Wednesday and obtained by Page Six, former Arista Records executive Drew Dixon accuses Antonio Marquis L.A. Reid of essaying her in 2001. In the civil suit, which was reported on by Rolling Stone, Dixon claims Reid, now 67, essayed her once on a private plane and once in the back of his private car while she was employed by him. Dixon further alleges that Reid began making advances at her before he officially joined the team at Arista by inviting her to tour apartments with him, during which he allegedly made flirtatious comments. The former vice president of A&R claims in the court filing that the first incident of SA happened in January 2001 during a flight to a company retreat in Puerto Rico. All right, so just to let you guys know up front, this is going to be a crazy read, so I got to paraphrase a lot within this passage. I'm pretty sure that you guys can read what it actually says. So it says, Dixon claims in the lawsuit that Reed started playing with her hair, kissing her, and digitally penetrating the cat without her consent while she was seated next to him on the plane to go over work plans. After the trip, Dixon says she tried her best to maintain a positive work atmosphere without succumbing to Mr. Reed's S advances, some of which allegedly included late night calls and requests for hotel room meetings. The second alleged incident happened during a car ride with Reed in which a driver was present. The suit claims that the music is that began to scope and kiss Miss Dixon without her permission once more and she squirmed and pushed him away. When Mr. Reed complained and became visibly irritated with the lack of compliance, Miss Dixon froze the document say. Mr. Reed again digitally penetrated the cat without her consent. After the second incident, Dixon alleges that Reed began cutting her 
her budget and not giving her artists the time of day, even allegedly rejecting a young John Legend. She decided she had no other choice but to leave Arista and eventually quit the music business altogether. L.A. Reid is a known editor who uses his singular professional to force himself on victims, Dixon alleged in a statement to Rolling Stone. In my case, his persistent campaign of S harassment and AS forced me to abandon the work I love when I was at the top of my game in the music business, having worked my way up from internships and a job as a receptionist. Dixon is seeking general and punitive damages plus legal fees in the suit. Now, I do want to emphasize that even though it's been 20 years since the alleged essay occurred, she's basically suing him under the Adult Survivors Act, which was a law passed in New York that allows civil lawsuits to be filed by any essay survivor who was above the age of 18 when the alleged, you know, situation occurred. So that's how she's able to go back all of these years and basically sue him for you know possibly violating her but anyway i want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this particular situation don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time peace